In our journey of rebuilding Manchester United, we just got a reality check. Despite us making two good signings in Toribo from Nice and Michael Elise from Crystal Palace, last episode we were knocked down in the Carabao Cup semis and also knocked down into the Europa League, finishing third in our Champions League group. So a big disappointment for the club and pressure on Ten Hag is rising, but we can only look forward now. If we can finish top four this season and have a go at winning either the Europa League or the FA Cup, then this season might still be a success. And hey, we still are in the January transfer window, although there's been a lot of disappointment lately i think we found a signing here that could help us build for the future and get this club back on track so drop a like down below if you want to see more of this series and let's get back into it now we start this episode off with some news here the headlines say ineos and surgeon ratcliffe have reportedly lost confidence in ten hog as man united manager and while a sacking this season has been rolled out ten hog is on thin ice to remain as united manager next season so yeah the pressure is rising but first comment today is saying to change rashford's instructions so he can be more effective in games like i get him behind cut inside and also stay forward now he already was on getting behind but we are going to change his chance creation from uh just balance i guess to cut inside to see if we can get more out of rashford now next one ask david beckham to mentor noah phillips now that is not a bad idea because i mean hey noah phillips is called the next david beckham maybe over the summer between season one and two we can do that and hey that could improve phillips stats a lot and now last one find the next Fernand, also the next vintage yeah so basically try to find a youth center back that does not sound like a bad idea we have scouts available so we'll think about that one right now though i think we have one more signing here that maybe won't like immediately impact this team and make this team better but kind of like players like Arnacho, Maynu, Elise, Phillips. It's a young player that maybe like two years, three years down the line could be a star of this team. And uh, since we sold McTominay, our only midfielders on the bench are Maynu and Mason Mount. Pretty much that's it. So let's say if like Dion got injured, then on the bench, we wouldn't really have like a backup midfielder. So I feel like that's what we need. And like I said, I think I found a perfect player here. Now that player is Alex Scott, the 20 year old English midfielder. Now this kid has got potential through the roof. Already at 20 years old, his stats are so good, like incredibly well rounded. He's got almost 70 finishing so he can score, but he's also got 71 stand tackle so he can defend too along with pretty decent pace and he's got all this only at 20 years old still so i mean for players like under 21 he could be england's best wonder kid and if he's not that then we can mold him into that because with those stats he can play in the midfield play on the wing play maybe at fullback spots and like i said mountains of potential here so definitely a signing alongside phillips uh elise or nacho Manu, more like the future of this team but for that cheap this is a no doubter here so we're gonna offer just straight up 10 million and bournemouth are going to what 12.3 make 11.5 give me a little deal here and bournemouth accept that and just like that alex scott is signed up maybe a future starting midfielder for england and also maybe a future starting midfielder for us so i've got a really good feeling about this signing here alex scott welcome to manchester united so he's an exciting prospect and with those stats there it's obvious i mean he's such a well-rounded player he can do everything so i feel like we just signed a future star of this series a future club legend but only time will tell and i'd say it's now time for his debut to see if he looks like the next star of this team so 21 games in we sit in fourth place only at three points above newcastle in fifth so the top four race is very close now wolves are all the way down in 16th so they're not doing good i think for this game i'm gonna play elise over garnacho give him a rest and we're gonna throw in alex scott for dion we're gonna do that so scott gets his debut let's also do malasia for shaw we're gonna go with that and we'll see how good our new signing does on his man united debut so we now have like a young english core of uh Maynu, phillips and also alex scott now so we're kind of building like the next class 92 in a way but okay we need to stay in top four so it's an important game to win and alex scott let's see how you do also elise he only he's only played one game so far and he hasn't really showed anything but it was a tough game for his debut so i want to see more of him all right scott's gonna play it out wide gets it to dallo dallo finds elise now michael elise has a chance to shoot here michael lise goes for the shot and that wasn't too far wide it wasn't the worst shot look at alex scott win that header see he's got the ability to pretty much do everything he has a chance here alex scott left footed shot and okay that shot wasn't too far wide either from the new signing it's a pretty good run i mean he's looking lively look at that player debut the media is taking notice here top left it's a pretty high profile debut here and one thing that's great about elise is right there he's got good tackling for a winger that's a plus having him there elise gets it to hoyland hoyland gets it to rashford Rashford, good touch there. That's a save, but Hoyland, rebound. Oh, man, I thought he could have got that. Okay, that's now three uh, decent-looking shots. We tested the keeper once. Still, it's time for our first goal soon. We got to score it. Okay, Castamero, great steal. No foul. Ref doesn't call it. Thank you, ref. Rashford out to Malasia. Come on, this first goal is right here. Come on. Rashford cuts inside well. Gonna play to Bruno. Over to Marco Elise. Has a chance to shoot, and Jose Saw makes a great save. Okay, Bruno cross in. That goes right to Casemiro, whose header goes way over the net as well. Okay, they got one of these free kicks from like the halfway line. These are usually actually pretty dangerous, just like this. See, they're always dangerous now. Bro, those never used to be a threat. I'm like scared of those now. Okay, Rashford, there's a chance to shoot. Marcus Rashford, left footed shot. That is deflected. Bro, this has been a scrappy game so far. We're gonna go for a short corner. Rashford gets it back to Bruno. Now Bruno cross far post. Martinez gets to it. But once again, the header is terrible. And our shooting has been like so bad this game. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did we just see that uh, speed boost there? Bro, that was fishy. I've never seen a speed boost like that. At least not often. That was very fishy. Bruno to Marcus Rashford. Come on, the goal is right here. I feel it. I've said that now like three times we haven't scored. Maybe I should stop saying that, Bruno. Bruno, 
Gets it to Rasmus Hoyland. Should score there. How do we not score that, Rasmus? Why is that shot like so close to Jose Sa? Okay, short corner again. Gonna play back. Who is this? He's shooting it. Oh, it's gonna be Alex Scott. Alex Scott. That shot did not look bad. Bruno into someone, but it's not gonna reach us to Martinez. Bro, we've had way too many shots since first half to not have a goal for it. Halftime, it's nil nil. So far, Scott in his debut looks decent. Hasn't done much though, along with the rest of the team. Now Casemiro is trying to change that. We know he can bang him. So long shot, Casemiro. Jose Sa is saving everything right now though. Okay, Bruno corner in Casemiro. Okay, that's what I'm going to go to him. It's going to be Scott again on the volley. Oh my, Alex Scott. If he would have scored that, he hit that so cleanly. Just need like an inch more power on that. You're telling me Man City signed Kamavinga in the top left. Are you kidding me? So they just got even better. Rashford gets it to Alex Scott, plays it up to Elise. Elise is going to go with the shot. Of course, that shot is blocked. One of those games we're attacking so much, having so many shots compared to them. But all they need is one lucky chance and they take the lead. What happens when you don't take your chances and don't like punish teams you're better than? Got on Bueno. Okay, that's a good stop there. Duran stops though. Come on, we can't let him score here. Cunha, Cunha. Martinez steps over and we prevent a goal there. That was so close. Lassia gives it to Bruno. Bruno feed in. Marcus Rashford, great ball. Marcus, but he's just offside. That looks so close. Okay, three subs. We got Nacho on for Elise, then Mason Mount on for Rashford, and then a uh, Shaw for Malassia. This feels like one of those classic games where I feel you're gonna score all our chances missed i just feel it happening varan varan's gonna stop that get it to anana it's gonna be a corner corner swung in out by luke shaw yes it is now mason win that mason does win it okay, this could be a counter hoyland gets it up to mason mount mason mount dribbling with like no help though what is this a two on seven mason alex scott plays it up to rasmus hoyland turns a shot and we have just hit the post that was a uh, post and off jose saw that was gonna be alex escada his first assist for the club too by the way we just further get like so unlucky this game and they're starting to play better i can feel it neto he's gonna get through oh we just can't make a tackle like i don't know how i'm controlling that was just so bad bro it's just felt it this whole game the more we can't score the more we're gonna make a mistake and they're gonna score yeah i thought i was controlling varan actually and i was controlling martinez so that's a mistake by me and now we're down one nil with 15 minutes left feels like a very realistic game though like frustrated from not scoring and we make like a very bad just mental defensive mistake this feels too realistic casemiro gets it alex scott trying to find a pass here Beads in Garnacho. What a pass from Alex Scott. And thank you. Someone can score. Okay, Garnacho, grab that ball. Finally, someone can score. Okay, there's still time to win this game. Now we got what? We got nine minutes. That is enough time to win this. Or even lose it too. Okay, last sub is Mara on for Hoyland. Pretty much just for fresh legs up top. But we got five minutes and they're playing for a draw here. They're playing so slow. You can feel it. They're playing for a draw. But they get a chance here to come forward. How does that get to their striker? Martinez, Martinez, good stop there. Okay, we have a chance here. Oh, we're gonna steal that Mason. Mason, no, we had to steal that. We got a minute left. I'm not sure we get a chance now. Alex Scott trying to steal that, but can't. Varan will get that, but it looks like it's going to be a draw. Wait, okay, that was a free kick by uh, it's a foul by them, actually, but that's going to be game. Man, this is a game we should have won. We should not have drawn this game, but we just couldn't score in that first half. We just couldn't score. Still, though, Alex Scott, I mean, he'd probably be one of the best players in the field this game. Get an assist. Garnacho scored, but it's going to be more drop points from us. So we do stay in the top four after that, but just Newcastle and even West Ham now are getting closer to us. Still, though, Alex Scott, great debut, and we're going to see a lot more of him through the rest of this season. And hey, after that game, he gives a post game interview, and he says that when he learned that Man United wanted to sign him, he immediately said yes, and that he wants to help this team get back to the top. And that is just music to our ears. Now, it is officially transfer deadline day, but I don't see any more moves that we need to make right now. I think, obviously, there's a lot of moves that, that could really improve this team, like a left back, maybe. I think for now, rest of the season, we play with this squad, and then maybe in the summer, we make some big changes in season two. But for now, I think we're good. So, officially, the transfer window is now shut for the rest of season one. All right, so next up is our first Europa League game of the year after getting uh, thrown out of the Champions League. So, this is the uh, round of 32, and we have Ajax in this round. The first leg was simmed and that was a 2-2 draw so second leg we'll decide who goes through and Ajax are not a bad team now in real life they are struggling but they're still a dangerous team and I feel like we have a real chance of winning the Europa League so we cannot get knocked out here in the first round now I think I am going to start Alex Scott again over De Jong we are going to rotate a little bit for the Europa League so like Noah Phillips comes in let's play Garnacho on the left let's get Manu in there for Casemiro get Turibo and I think Juan Bisaka and we'll go with that also let's play James Trafford in there so we got kind of a youth team in there it's a Europa League squad and I feel like we should still still win this game though so I'm excited here we got Manu Garnacho show uh phillips alex scott all starting together we got the youth on showcase today and once again lose this we are knocked out of the europa league we, that can't happen even with this young team we have playing out here today it might not be the e easiest game Manu, okay is that a pass we're gonna call that a pass to wambisaka we're calling it a pass i don't know what that was though alex scott gets it to hoyland hoyland out to wambisaka now phillips gets back on side phillips turns try to play it to uh, hoyland scott to phillips phillips gonna go for a fake shot into Garnacho who shoots and already that's one goal for us. Apparently the only man that can score today is Garnacho. Okay, six minutes in, one nil to United. And hey, Phillips, Scott, Bruno, all part of that buildup. I like to see it. Okay, let's keep this up. Good start finally. Yeah, Bruno just tried to tackle that guy and he just fell over like a rag doll. I mean, I like the effort from Bruno. I like that at least. Now Manu gives it to Bruno. He's fine. Bruno driving through. He's got Phillips on a run. 
Noah Phillips. Chance to shoot here. Noah Phillips shoots, and that's a good save from their keeper, though. Okay, corner swung in. That's going to go to Martinez. Martinez, the shortest center back on the field. He just handballed it. Martinez. He just literally, like, grabbed the ball with both of his hands. Bruno, Wanabi Saka has got Alex Scott in the middle. Goes to Hoyland instead. Hoyland gets it to Bruno. Now Bruno, crossover to Garnacho. Oh, that's going to fall. Garnacho, free volley attempt. That is so lucky right there. But I'll take it. Garnacho has two this game. And the kid's on a hat trick. Yeah, I actually look like they're as bad in the game as they are in real life right now. This looks terrible for them. I mean, it's a good cross, but what is that clearance? That is so bad. And Garnacho just volleys it in. Okay, 2 0 and probably what? Yeah, under 20 minutes. And hey, Garnacho is on a hat trick. Oh, Maynu, what a tackle. Okay, yeah, the youth are on show today. Hoyland is going to go for a shot here. Of course, that's blocked, though. Bruno gets it. Alex Scott. Alex Scott. Chance for a finesse shot. It goes over the net. Luke Shaw and Forbes. Luke Shaw. Okay, Forbes kind of pushed him over there. That is not really good to see, but he does recover. Luke Shaw. Okay, no. Forbes steals it back. Luke Shaw, you got to be better than that. Luke Shaw, get it. Get it. Someone's got to get it. Still stays in our box. Toribo gets it out. Okay, Toribo. Good defensive play there. Now, Garnacho to Bruno. We got space here. Bruno gets it out to Wambisaka. Wambisaka is driving forward here. Get it back. This is Noah Phillips, which he's got good crossing. Garnacho is not going to get that, though. Benu. Chance to go for a shot. That is blocked. Is that handball? Oh, that's handball. This is a free kick that is very close. Bruno, this has got to be yours. Yeah, I'm feeling good about this one. I'm feeling good. Bruno Fernandez from the free kick spot is going to... He's going to hit the post. Oh, that is just so close. That is heartbreaking. It feels like it could be very good for us, like a big win. If we can get these goals flowing, just like this. Hoyland is in. Hoyland, big chance to shoot. Sotalo is going to block it, though. Again, a bad clearance. Falls to Bruno. Try to get a Phillips. Okay, that was a bad pass. He's also offside, I think. Alex Scott forces that uh, turnover. Phillips gets it right back to him. Now, Alex Scott going to play to Manu. Manu, some chance, some room actually to room to drive in here. He's going to shoot. And of course, it's also blocked like all of my shots are. But okay, two goal lead halftime. It's not bad so far. We need to build further on it, though. Bruno driving forward. We got Noah Phillips out wide. Noah gets on the inside there, but he got kind of held by that defender a little bit. Wait, Noah steals that. Hoyland. Two guard nacho. That should be the hat trick. And that is the hat trick, bro. Ajax are so bad in this game right now. It is 5 2. And that is hat trick complete for Alejandro Garnacho. What are they doing in the back? You're like, Noah, that's a great steal. And then it's an open net for Garnacho, the easiest of his three goals today. Yeah, they're looking like the same team from real life, basically. Alex Scott, great tackle there. So he can do everything. He's got pace. He's got defensive awareness. He's looking very good so far. Okay, that's another tackle by him into Hoyland. Which Hoyland hold it. Get it to Alex Scott. Scott gets it to the other youth player, Phillips. Now Phillips, who's going to wrap that around. Head it to Bruno. Bruno, what was that? Garnacho went for a bicycle kick. Did not even make contact on it. Scott to Noah Phillips. Noah is going to wait for Wambisaka. There's a chance for a cross. Wambisaka, good crossover. Bruno header, but the header goes over the net. Literally everything is going our way this game. Very different than last game. Luke Shaw is going to try to find. That was meant for Alex Scott. That was actually a very good cross by Luke Shaw. Debo is going to find Bruno. Bruno turns. Bruno into Hoyland. Over to Noah Phillips, who takes so long to shoot. Hoyland, there's an open net, but it's blocked. And that was a great chance for Noah. It just took way too long to shoot there. Okay, this one is a small chance for Ajax finally they have not done much in our uh in our box at all which probably is running forward probably the most dangerous player gets it to Forbes gets by there but okay Luke Shaw Luke Shaw just clear it we are just gonna clear that not terrible defending all right subs on we got like four subs we got Mara we got Elise also Mason Mountain I think Malasia don't let them score here if they score here this game is gonna become a game gets it into Van Den Boomen what a name Martinez gets it and he actually keeps it in there wait what is that? That was a foul on them? How is it a foul? Okay, free kick in a very weird spot. Keeper doesn't come out for it. Thankfully, uh, Mara clears it, though, and Phillips clears it again. I did not mean to do that second clearance. To be fair, last, like, 10 minutes has been all Ajax, so they are making a little push here, but defense is holding up. Maynu is pressuring. Maynu, Maynu can't get that one. Alex Scott will get that one, though. Man, what a tackle. What a game by him. Out to Phillips. Phillips to Alex Scott. Scott gets it over to Wamisaka. Wamisaka. Oh, man. Phillips is so offside. That was so bad timing. Noah was showing his age there. We got a chance, though. This is Wamisaka again. He is going to cross this in. Far post. That is going to be Elise with what an attempted finish, but what a save. Man, that would have been such a nice goal. I don't know how the keeper saves that. Okay, they got one chance here. It should not matter, though, because we are two goals up. Robbie. Toribo is defending this two on one, and he does so well there. Okay, Toribo is looking much better than uh, last episode. Corner Swung in out by not out by wait is that a goal that's actually a goal alex scott could didn't get that out soon enough okay so ix do score one. Oh man alex see he's he's showing his age too you gotta make sure you clear that so they're gonna get one goal but that's the last kick of the game so that's not bad that's gonna count as an alex scott own goal that's so unfortunate he played so good this game so a few players showing their age towards the end they're inexperienced but hey we still just smacked ix all right so we now make it to the europa league round of 16 but before we play the round of 16 we have a huge game in the premier league so another manchester derby they're sitting in second place eight points above us and with uh, 
about Tenog being under pressure here, this game is even bigger. As before this game, reports come out online that are linking Graham Potter, Jose Mourinho, and also Ruud van Nistelrooy to be the next manager of Manchester United in case Ten Hag is sacked. And the reports say that there's a big summer of decisions ahead of the new ownership group of Manchester United. So it's a big game for Eric Ten Hag, which means, yeah, we're playing the first team here. We're not playing any of the kids really, other than like Hoyland and Garnacho. So pretty much our best first team here. And yet again, another Manchester derby. Now in this last matchup, we were very competitive with them though. We actually played good, but right in the end, we lost it. So it feels like if we play our best, we can definitely like compete with them but at the end of the day they're still the best team and much better than us so let's just see how this goes okay Diong gets it out to Garnacho Garnacho driving forward also Dallow's driving forward we got Bruno though Bruno first time shot trying to catch Ederson off guard and that was not a bad shot Audrey gets it to Erling Holland out to Foden probably the two most dangerous players in the attack Balde gets it to Erling Holland Moran they drag it back to Doku and we just can't defend that Doku scores and it's 1-0 to Manchester City bro their attack is just a nightmare to defend it's kind of felt like a weird goal though the ball was past Doku we we kind of stood there and he kind of just shot like Martinez wasn't in a great like starting position like there's so much room there for the shot not the star we wanted here okay, Luke Shaw's gonna try to play to Rashford actually if, if Rashford's on side that is a beautiful pass and Rashford scores he is on side talk about an instant reply Rashford scores and it's 1-1 that timing on Luke Shaw's pass was literally perfect like he must have been just on the line there and okay Rashford great finish he's starting to play much better towards the end of the season or towards the middle part of it I should say good response 1-1 in 12 minutes this might be a high scoring game okay, Dallow's got an early yellow which I'm not really sure from we gotta be careful with him Brand that's good defending on Holland though good pass to De Jong that's a great De Jong turn gets it to Hoyland Hoyland Garnacho, this is not bad. Garnacho holds it up. Trying to find some space. Gets it to Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw gonna cross it in, but that's well defended. Yeah, we could have done much better with that. Okay, they got a corner, which De Bruyne on a corner is very dangerous, but Dallow gets that out. Doku, Doku. Man, if we could steal that, that'd be a breakaway chance. De Bruyne gets it to Kovacic. Holland is doing moves. Someone help me. Holland gets it all the way back. Okay, Holland, that dribbling was so good. Rodri gets it out to Foden. How am I supposed to defend this attack right now, bro? They are literally insane. Gets it to Rodri. Rodri drags it back for Kevin De Bruyne, and they score their second. Bro, they are like impossible to defend when they're in form and they're playing like they're in form right now this Rodri what a little layoff to De Bruyne and then the first time shot Onana has no chance I mean I would like Onana to make a save here now but that shot is kind of hard to uh to criticize him for it was a good shot okay, let's see if we can respond instantly again which Hoyland threw to Rashford again Rashford Calm finish. Rashford scores again, bro. It's the same thing. An instant reply and Rashford makes it 2-2. Bro, that is, we've scored like two of the easiest goals of the season. Off of goals they scored. Just Hoyland drives it forward. Rashford finds space. And it's a good finish by Rashford. Okay, Rashford has a brace at the Etihad. And this is currently 2-2. Doku versus Mar Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw, great tackle. Get it out. Just clear it. Not really the best clearance, though. And Garnacho, great steal on Balde. And a very electric opening 40 minutes here. Dallo to De Jong. Young is going to switch this all the way to Luke Shaw. Now Luke Shaw making that inverted run. Gets it up to Rasmus. Hoyland, but we dribbled right into Ruben Diaz. Doku finds Holland. This is not good. This is really not good. We got to stop this pass. Get us out the pass in the middle, which we didn't stop it there. Luke Shaw does get it out, though. Okay, final chance in the first half. Rashford driving forward. A chance for a first half hat trick, but that shot was so bad. Okay, they've scored two. Our defense has been pretty bad, but the game is tied. Like, we responded. So, first half, I am not mad about that right there. Nacho gets it to Frankie Young. This could be a good start. Second half, that's blocked. Young, another cross in, goes to Bruno. Oh, man, I thought he was going to hit that on the volley. That would have been nasty. Young, Kovacic, that's a foul right there. I'll take that foul, I guess. At least it slowed down their attack. Oh, Doku is cooking Luke Shaw right now. Doku gets inside, gets it to Kovacic. Kovacic to Holland, but Varane steps up. Oh, that's going to fall. You got to be kidding me. Oh, thankfully, Holland misses that. That that bounce to them was so lucky right here. That bounce. Holland should have scored that. He misses. He should have scored that one. That is a big miss. Bruno to Frank and Young. Up to Rasmus. Over to Rashford. Rashford over to Luke Shaw. He is going to find a cross here. Hoyland. He just can't fight for that. Okay, now they got a counter attack. We got numbers back, but might not be enough. Doku. Onana, big save. Okay, big grab by Onana too. We got 30 minutes. A draw versus Man City would actually not be that bad. So if we can hold this, it might be a decent result. A good uh, tackle by Luke Shaw there leads to a counter with Bruno to Hoyland. Hoyland is going to lose it though. Bruno steals it back. This is like chaos. One team gets it, then one team steals it, and then Ederson is going to make the save. Okay, short corner to Garnacho. Garnacho, Bruno to Frankie de Jong has a chance here from distance. Frankie de Jong hits the post. What a shot. That deserved to go in. Again, that is so unlucky. Ball to De Bruyne. This is not good. De Bruyne with the ball in the wing is definitely not good because he just picked out that pass. That was insane. Martinez just clear it. Martinez just clear it, bro. 
We cannot. Okay, Luke Shaw. This is what I'm saying. We can't clear it. We're so loose with it in the back. Holland, Varan just saved goal. I think that was a all or nothing tackle. We got 15 minutes. This is just pure chaos now. Frank and Young up to Garnacho. Garnacho cross to Hoyland. Then get on the end of it to Bruno. Bruno turns. Marcus. No, Rashford was right there. I, I was trying to get the ball to him. Bro, he had a free shot. Okay, Holland. Holland, please stop. We got numbers back. We're okay. Royna gets it to Grealish. Grealish into Holland. Gets it over. Rodri. Rodri scored the winner in our last meeting, I think. And Onana makes that save, though. Okay, two subs. We got Alex Scott coming on for De Jong and Elise on for Garnacho. I am trusting Alex Scott in this game here. He's played good so far. See if he can impact these uh, final 10 minutes if we don't concede here. Which, that gets over to Rodri into Kevin De Bruyne. Can't make a tackle. We make a tackle there. And we maybe have just saved this game for us. Oh, my. Holland was right there in front of the net. They are just not stopping, though. Is that a foul? That is not a foul. I'll take that. Okay, six minutes and I am nervous. You don't have to rush things and get it to Scott. Scott gets to Elise. Now Elise is going to find Bruno. Bruno does find Alex Scott. Oh, man, that first touch was so awkward because Hoyland was there. Dello, Scott gets it back to Bruno. Bruno is going to find. Oh, my. Alex Scott, a chance to win. And this shot goes near post. Bro, I was aiming to the far post. Okay, we got two minutes. We might have the final chance here, actually. Casemiro, Rashford, Rashford. Hoyland lays it off to Bruno Fernandez and Bruno scores the winner. 92nd minute. We have just won the Manchester Derby. Of course, it had to be Bruno too, huh? Bro, we fought back this game despite them playing so well, but we just played a little bit better in the end. I think we also got lucky, but Bruno Fernandez between two defenders. What a finish. So three, two, we just beat Manchester City. That's what I'm saying. Like on our day, if we play our best, we can compete with them. But man, that is a shock result. That is one of our best wins of the season so far though. So that means we're now in third place and game in hand. We have a chance to go Going, uh, only two points behind Man City. That's a momentum setting win right there. But okay, now next up is back in the Europa League. And we've been drawn Real Batiste in the round of 16. So not an insanely good team, but definitely not a bad team. Now, first leg is going to be a 3 2 win. Okay, Hoyland and Rashford score. Also, Bruno. So it's a one goal lead. I think I'm confident if we sim this with the first team, we can beat them. It is a little bit of a risk, though. So full first team this game is going to be 3 1. Okay, we do win. Bruno, Elise, and Bruno. So we advance to now the Europa League quarterfinals. Now, next up is the FA Cup. We have Watford away, where I think this is the quarterfinals yeah it's quarterfinals the fa cup round six so win this we go to wembley the semis it's actually a pretty big game now before this game it was just announced that alex scott noah phillips and kobe minu have all been called up to the under 21 england squad so three of our core youth players both in the england squad already i mean that's pretty much the future of this team and all three of them start in this game versus watford where if we win this we reach the fa cup semis so we got some rotations but still some big players in there of course like bruno now if i'm remembering right watford knocked us out of the carebot cup so there's a chance for revenge in the fa cup it was watford for, right why am i struggling to remember that i'm pretty sure it was now luke shaw is in here luke shaw gets it to marcus though marcus cuts inside goes for a shot falls to mara mara i didn't mean to turn like that oh that was such a good chance Maynu. Maynu, actually a good defensive play debo gets it to scott scott gets it to dallo dallo back to alex scott chance to shoot that shot went right off that defender martinez dallo Back to Scott. Scott plays it into uh, Phillips, but he's going to lose it. Okay, Todibo, great tackle. Todibo is looking good now. He had a shaky first episode, but he's looking good now. Phillips over to Mara, though. Seku Mara will shoot across goal, and that is going to be saved. Bruno cross in, goes right to Martinez. Not going to get it. Todibo is not going to get that either. Now, Noah Phillips gets it to Alex Scott. Scott's in turn. Keeps it, gets it to Dallow. Back to Alex Scott. A chance to get his first goal for the club here. If he scores that, Buchanan is going to make the save, though. Okay, Phillips steals it back. Dallo back to Alex Scott. Maybe another chance. Going to play it to Bruno instead. Bruno back to Alex Scott. Is going to shoot that, but it's blocked again, bro. Okay, now I'm remembering. It was Watford we played against. We lost. I remember. I'm having PTSD. All these shots and all these saves. Phillips. Phillips. Okay, there's a chance. Phillips. Fine left-footed finesse shot. Okay, this keeper's now made what? Four saves. We have to score right now. Come on. Short corner into Rashford. Back to Noah Phillips. Chance to shoot. Phillips shoots, and that's going to be another corner. Hey, we're going to keep trying this, though. Rashford back to Phillips. Phillips shot there again. Noah Phillips hits the... Oh, but it's the crossbar. Then Dallow's header is saved. What is this keeper on? Someone test him. Okay, Maynu good steal. Scott is a handball. No, it's not, thankfully. Phillips gets it back to Dallow. Back to Scott. Over to Maynu. Maynu finds. Okay, that was meant for Bruno. Bruno didn't even go for that. Oh, the more we don't score, the more worried I get. And the more nervous we get. Switch it to Luke Shaw. Now, Luke Shaw is going to swing that in, but not really to anyone. Bruno steals it back. Maynu to Phillips. Phillips and Amara. Amara gets it back to Phillips. Phillips. Rashford lays it off. There we go. Bruno should score that. Oh, this keeper. How are all these shots saved? Bro, I'm about to throw up again. Rashford over to Noah Phillips in the box. Let's get closer. Get it back to Bruno. Bruno. Now there's too many people in the box. Bruno gets it to Alex Scott. Turns. 
Goes for a shot himself, and that shot goes wide from our new signing. Bro, how many shots have we had so far? How many saves have they made? Whatever it is, it is sickening. Like, we are dominating them. We just don't have the goals to show for it. We might find it here, though. Luke Shaw gonna play it up to Marcus Rashford, but that defender did very well there. Whoa, bad pass, though. That is not a good pass, Bruno. Over to Alex Scott. Finally, we score. And look who it is. It's the new signing. Maybe England's best wonder kid, Alex Scott. Okay, finally, that's one. It is about time. Okay, great pass over. Good finish there. Let's keep it up. Finally, after 42 minutes, we score. We probably had like 10 shots so far. Maybe have one more chance for halftime. Rashford's kind of in here. Rashford Bruno is in. Crossover. It is going to be blocked, though. Okay, we're going to swing this one in. Bruno swings it in right to Lissandro Martinez bro why is he the middleman on these corners he's like 5'11 5'10 but okay second half we're one nil up we need this second goal though Phillips on the wing has got a little space here he's gonna play it to Mara now Mara wait for him perfectly timed I think Phillips cuts inside looks for Bruno looks for him good pass now Bruno whips the cross in but it's not gonna reach Rashford that was such a good move the finish to it was not as good Scott to Noah Phillips Phillips plays it to Marcus Rashford, and that is 2-0. Great assist by the next David Beckham, Noah Phillips. And okay, finally 2-0. Yeah, Rashford is started last episode, but he's playing much better now. It's another good finish from him. All right, 2-0. I feel much better about this game now. It is still not over yet, though. Benu to Mara. Gets it back to Bruno. Bruno, good turn. Bruno gets it to Phillips. Phillips tries to find Scott. Can't find him, though. Good pass into the box. Good tackle by Martinez. Actually, a very good tackle there. That was just pure strength. Benu gets it to Scott. Scott is going to try to play it to Mara. Does play it to him. Mara holds it up. Gets it into Noah Phillips. A chance to get his goal. Well, Noah is going to shoot, but once again, oh, he's, his first touch towards the net is probably not the best. I think that's probably like ball control. Bruno cross in though. That is going to be Martinez. Of course, doesn't get that. Phillips volley off his head and goes for a shot. Okay, Noah, that was uh, not bad. All right, two subs, Elise on and also Mason Mount on. Mason Mount, good. Look at the ball to Elise. That is beautiful. Elise. Okay, uh, that was actually a shot. I pressed shoot there, not pass. And that went very far wide. Not sure what happened there. Right, Luke Shaw, chance to cross here, but not many crossing options. Luke Shaw, good dribbling, but no, someone's got to be there in the middle for that, bro. Whoa, that's a bad pass. Someone's got to be in the middle for that. Colby Maynou, a chance to go for a shot himself. That had the lift to it, but did not have the, uh, the placement. Okay, they're making one last push here, which if they score, it might turn into a game. Alex Scott, good defending, and... I tried to clear it the opposite direction. You know what? I guess that's good enough. Their keeper's coming up. Okay, if we clear this, there's an open net on the other end. Corner in. Clear that thing. Someone get it. Oh, no one's going to get it right away, though. Okay, that's going to be a shot. That is going to be... Nope, it's a tackle. Alex Scott gets it out, and the keeper's already back. That's unfortunate. Wait, this could still be a goal, though. It could still be a goal, and it's Noah Phillips. The next David Beckham on a run. He's got, like, no stamina, though. Noah goes all the way, and he is going to score. He went all the way there. He had, like, no stamina. But okay, the next David Beckham scores, and it's 3-0. I mean, I am so excited about all these young players in this team. Mara, Ganacho, Phillips, Scott, Maynou, even James Trafford. Like, we got some very good and excited young players. And okay, 3-0. We're through now to the FA Cup semis. So it looks like we're finding our form towards the end of the season. And also Alex Scott scores his first goal of the season. So far, I cannot be more happier with him. He's just got so much potential for this team. So third place in the Prem FA Cup uh, semis, which we are facing Arsenal, man, Chelsea, Liverpool, Arsenal, United. It's a stacked FA Cup semis. And then yeah, through to the Europa League quarterfinals. It is shaping up to be a very interesting season. Now next episode, we might try and send our youth scouts out again to maybe find another youth star of this team. And also Ten Hag remains under pressure. So his job is not safe. But if you want to see more of this series, then drop a like. And if you want to watch me make Ronaldo the best player in the world, then click on screen.